Kaylin Foss, psychology professor and coach, excited to talk to you today about trying things more than once. And this sounds like a really simple idea, but I want to give you the pep talk today to be able to think about things that you can do uh, or try again in your life. So often with coaching clients, I hear things like, I tried meditation once, or I tried using a paper planner once, I tried, uh, you know, delegating that task once, all kinds of different things that we have in our lives that we know can be really helpful, right? There's a lot of scientific evidence about that this could help, or other people have told you in your life that that could be helpful. And we say, oh, I've tried that once. I'm not, you know, I'm, and it implies I'm not doing it ever again, or that's not for me, I'm not that kind of person, all of these kinds of things. One of the biggest blocks I had about um, something I thought I was never going to do was uh, about running. I just had this, you know, like persona of I'm not a runner, uh, I've never run before, it's not going to happen, that's great that other people do it, I'm not going to do it. Right? And it's just like you, we get into these traps of thinking, that's not me, I'm not going to do that again, or give it a try. But when we take a step back and really think about how we encourage children to keep trying things, like what if you said, uh, uh, first time you're riding a bike, like, yep, tried, tried riding a bike once, just didn't work out for me. Everybody knows that like one time doesn't work, right? That you, you have to keep practicing and you have to keep uh, seeing, you know, how it goes. This doesn't mean we have to try endlessly. I mean, maybe eventually you decide you just don't like riding bikes, but it doesn't mean that you've said, I tried it once and I'm done. So that's true for a lot of things. And again, back to the uh, meditation, a lot of people find that they have to keep practicing at it or come and go from it over time just to really make it stick. Uh, different ways we can build those habits. Uh, I had one for, about yoga for a long time. Like, oh, you know, sometimes I would struggle with it. I dabble in it. And it's only recently that I really felt like it's really sticking. Like I really see the benefit and what everybody goes on about all the time. So exercise is a common one. Uh, but also the productivity things in our lives. So what are the things uh, that you keep ignoring because you say, I tried it once and I'm not going back? So whether that's the planner method that you use, the way you take notes, uh, the way your uh, smartphone's set up, the, the way your laptop's organized, all of those things that we get kind of trapped in our traditional way. I want to challenge you to think about one thing you can do this week that might be another attempt at something that didn't go so well before but could be something you try again. Something simple because it could really make a difference. So keep me posted. I'd love to hear on our Facebook Live about what you're trying and uh, you know how many times did it take to try it and how are you feeling about it now. So keep us posted.